Yes, now what is all that racket about? Yes, of course, it's made from the beautiful Concord. Weird intro, but everybody, yes, welcome aboard this magnificent plane. We're not at Mach 2 right now, but that doesn't matter. Everybody, we all know and love the Concorde, and so it is nice that we finally have it released for the X-Plane 12 flight simulator that came out this summer. Now, this is the version 3, and it costs 60 bucks, unless you had previously purchased it, you know, the previous version, like I did, I only had to pay $11, which is very nice of a deal, especially considering that we're looking at Kolimata's extremely good work of recreating this absolutely complicated cockpit in the flight simulator x -plane. I mean, look at this, we've got afterburners, we've got all we need now in the beautiful shine of the X-Plane 12 flight simulator. I mean, look at that. Now, something new they added now to this X-Plane 12 version is it's right here for you. VR! We are fully VR compatibility, which is, by the way, completely amazing. You know, ever since I've had this proper VR headset, you know, this Meta Quest 2 headset, I've just been amazed how good this actually works with flight simulators. I mean, one of the big issues behind a flight simulator is, you know, the mouse clicking. It's not really like pressing a real switch here on the uh, light panel. Like, you know, the muscle memory just doesn't translate through. So even though you can theoretically fly this plane with your mouse, you wouldn't really be able to fly it that well in real life. That's the theory. So right in today's video, I thought, why don't we hop into the VR world with a headset? Maybe try to fly this plane. You know, see, can I even start up this plane with this extremely stupidly over-engineered engineering panel? Yeah, let's do Oh yeah, would you guys look at that, everybody? We are indeed in the Concorde, and actually, you know what, this actually Looks quite nice. I really don't hate this at all. Like, you know, this actually feels like very close to reality. I mean, you know, this probably doesn't come across in the video that much, but like the 3D effect that you have with this VR headset is just absolutely amazing. First impression, pretty good. Let's go ahead and just step outside. Oh yeah, look at that, everybody. We, uh, we can have a bit of a view at this beautiful Concorde here. Actually, walking around, this could I genuinely walk. If you have like a room that's large enough. All right, but now might be time to finally get serious now. You know, here in this cockpit, we can move about and of course move to the engineering panel, something that is very important. I'm not quite sure what the green reflections and the instruments are. In general, the graphics are a bit, well, uh, you know what, it's not that bad. Also, it's lagging quite a lot. I think that's because of my computer just being bad. Anyway, it might now finally be time to actually start this plane up. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. Here we go. Turn on the batteries. Here we go. I've done this before, like years ago. Nothing to worry about. You know what? The switch switching actually feels pretty good. This is not bad so far. It's just very laggy. Look at that. Uh-huh. Turn this on. Honestly, I don't even know what that does. Hydraulic. I don't care. I mean, yeah, let's rather focus on the important stuff like the engine pump here, the feet, here we go, look at that, all these switches here, this actually feels pretty good. Like, you can get close here, nothing to worry about. Alright, honestly, it's, it's kind of scary, I really don't even know what to do. It's kind of it's so weird. I mean, yeah, this definitely won't come across in this video, as it isn't like this real gameplay, it's crazy, okay. Let's go back to, uh, to the cockpit here, I've already turned on these switches here. All right, here we go. Look at that anti-stall system. They can get so close. Oh, I've entered the matrix. Other than that, turn on the ignition. Here we go. Auto throttle. Oh, I don't even need that, but I. Very important. Non-smoking flight. Everyone can smoke here, no problem at all. Yeah, you know, this is <laughs> this is amazing, especially in such a plane. This is lots of fun. All right, before my computer starts to burn, it's maybe now time to try starting up those engines properly. So, um, it's in the... Okay, that's the problem. You need, you need a lot of space. There's a green screen here. Uh, let's turn the red lights to start here, okay? Here you go. Oh my god. You know, this is the problem here with VR. You need a lot of space because this is just a huge cockpit. Turn on the fuel heaters right here. Uh, recirculation valve, air doors, auto. Just turn everything to auto, you can set to auto, okay? Other than that, I think we're ready for engine starts. Let's go ahead and open the, uh, there we go. 
the air bleed of the engines. That's what we need. Addition valve, something like that. Okay, and maybe now time to start up the engines. Oh God. Well, they're already turning on. Huh? Wait, is that realistic? Because I hadn't even turned on the, the high pressurization valve. Normally you would have to open the HP valve. Not anymore! Or I've accidentally just started out the concourse. Nothing to be worried about now. It might now time. Wait a second. I always keep getting teleported out of the damn plane. Yes, maybe now do the illustrious Snoop Droop deployment. Snoop Droop doesn't want to come out. It doesn't work. Help! God damn it, I think it's something wrong with the hydraulic. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, I wouldn't, I'm too small to be like a proper operator of the engineering panel, Jesus. All right, uh, Snoop Dude has come out, so that's great. Here we go now, full power. Come on now. Yes, look at that, it's coming to full power. Let's go and release the parking brake. This one, yes. We're moving, okay, let's grab the uh, thing. We can use this with a joystick here. I would really prefer the joystick here in this case. Let's go ahead and start up here. Come on. Oh God. Oh my, okay, here we go. I, I didn't find the rudder pedals here on the floor. Okay, everybody, I am flying a Concord, and it's really, now with the sound especially, it's really starting to feel like a reality, and it's absolutely ridiculous. I'm literally flying a Concord. I mean, this is as close as we can get to flying the real deal. It is laggy, it is crazy, my computer is dying, but everybody, it is, it, it is working. Let me then not try to land the actual Concord. That is a crazy thought. I can look down to the instruments. That I've dreamed of this. All right, landing gear is still down, so this will definitely be no worry. Okay, this is a very powerful plane. Nothing to worry about. I'm just a little bit concerned about the lagging. It's incredible. I think my computer, I need an upgrade, but I've got like a 3080. So this proves now you will definitely need a NASA computer to run X-Plane VR. But look at that. Like, I mean, you won't understand how beautiful this is right now with like 3D looking into this artificial horizon. Absolutely beautiful. All right, now 200 knots. Uh, let's just keep it on the green needle here. Landing here at Buox. This is where Pilatus makes the, their planes. Now, I just have to not mess this up. Seriously, the Concorde is hard to fly, so I probably will. But all right, a bit fast. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Ah! Oh my God, that's been a hard landing. And this plane is hard to land. And now the stopping, look at that. Hear that. Uh, can we? Oh yeah, the reversers are turned on now. Yes, the Concorde has been professionally flown here in VR. I'm absolutely amazed. Yeah. All right, let's check out this landing done in VR. Super highly realistic, and uh, realistically hit some trees. Yeah, that was a very bad approach. Coming in very bad landing, very hard landing. That was Ryan error proof. But everybody, honestly, I didn't expect for me to even land this safely. Look at that. Yes. Now on the airplane itself, the Koli model plane is absolutely amazing. Look at this. We've, we can load a route. We can, so much we can do. Like the UI is amazing. Like the status here, putting full power into the engine. Look at that. Let's do that here now. And there we go, look at that. We've got fuel, we've got more information even on the engine. It's absolutely incredible how I managed to start that up by pressing some buttons. Center of gravity, doors. Like literally all you need is the Kolimata. I think this is definitely one of my all time favorites. It's absolutely amazing. Yes. Now about the whole VR thing in the new X-Plane 12 is absolutely amazing. Um, check this out. This is the Cirrus, right? The plane that I fly. All right, come on, let's turn on the batteries here. Strobes, look at that. Get some fuel here, give it some boost pump here as well. Turn that key, look at that. Yeah! This is definitely, if you guys want to learn in a flight simulator, get a damn VR headset. So buddy, this was a little bit of an insight into the new Concorde for X-Plane. Get it, God damn it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Well, thank you so much to all the people who give me lots of monies, like Mariana, Ragings, Junk in the Trunk, Mike, John O'Brien, Derek, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Kelly Chaos, Ryland Williams, New York, Shadow, Ignuana, and Moritz Bohausen.